Hey guys, in today's video, I will go, I'm going to be showing you how to make a jumper game in Scratch. Now, by the end of this series, you should be able to, uh, to make a game something like this, where you can make the character jump and you can collect collectibles and and there's also uh, and there's also things that can make you make you lose the game so yeah guys let's just get let's just get into the tutorial so first i'll just i'll just pick a sprite that i want to be my main character maybe i'll pick the cat flying one and then I'll position it where I want to be, where I want it to be. I'll go to events when flag clicked. We want it to just, just go there. So go to X. In my case, is negative one hundred and seventy four, and the Y five. And then we'll make, a, and then whoops, we'll make a ground sprite. We'll name this sprite ground, and then we'll just draw draw a rectangle at the bottom of the screen. Maybe we'll make this go down a bit. Yes, okay, and then maybe I don't want it to be purple. Maybe I'll make it some something like this, and then I'll keep the outline. Okay, so we're just going to go into the code and then we're going to make a new variable. Delete this my variable variable. Then we're going to name it y vel for y velocity for this sprite only. And then when flag when the green flag is clicked, we'll want to set the y velocity to zero. And then we go to control and grab a forever loop. We can we can go and get change y velocity by not one but negative one, and then we will grab one of these y vel blocks. We'll get the change y by blocks, and then we put that in. So if we run the run the script, you will see that the cat just falls, and the does fall behind behind the ground but that's very easy to fix just grab a go to front layer block and then now it's in front of the block in front of the ground but but we want the cat to cat to stop when it hits the ground so we can get an if block so it checks if it's touching the ground sprite and if it is, then we're going to repeat until not touching ground. We're going to change y by change y by one. So if you run that here, you you can see that it just it just bo bobs up and down, up and down. So what we can do is set the y velocity to to zero, and as you can see, it ju it's just right right above the ground. But if we run this again, you can kind of see th see the cat bobbing bobbing out of the ground again, and we and we don't want that. So so we're just going to make a custom block. Maybe you can name it fix collision run without screen refresh because we don't want the animation of the cat bobbing out of the ground again and then we're just going to grab the repeat until script onto the define fix collision and we're going to get the our new fix collision block into the if touching ground and if we run the, run the script you can see that it just lands perfectly onto onto the ground so that's perfect. Now what we're going to do is make it so that the cat can the cat can go up and down when we when we press the space key. 
so you can go to events and grab a broadcast broadcast block put it here and then we write a new message we can call it game starts okay and then when i receive game starts we can put a forever loop and then it will constantly check if the space key is pressed then it can set y velocity to something positive like maybe 12 so if we check so if we go into the game if we press the space key it goes up but maybe that's a bit too high so maybe i'll set it to something lower like seven no maybe like nine yes that's off that's fine for me but you may have noticed that if you hold down the space key it just rockets up like that well that's really easy to fix just go to control grab a wait until block and, and then grab a not block so it waits until the space key is released and th and then and then the cat can go up again so if we test this i'm holding down i'm holding down the space key i can't rock it up and but it's going up less so we can set this back up to something like 12 or something and look and now we got the jumping thing sorted out but there's not really much animation in here so so we can just go into this main forever loop and then get to a point in direction block and then go into operators to grab a an addition block and then stuff it in here and then on the right side we're going to put 90 and on the left side we're going to put y velocity so if you make the cat fly again you can see that there is a bit of animation and you can mess or mess around with the with the number on the on the right side maybe you can try something like 120 but that doesn't really look very good so i'm just going to stick with 90 and and yeah guys that's the end of episode one of this series on how to make a jumper game in the next episode i'm going to to show you how to add collectibles add a score and and yeah make sure to like and subscribe bye